Hello everyone, Steve here showing off the conceptual part of a Congreve style clock. Uh, this is a clock, I believe it was initially designed in the 1800s by a guy named Congreve and it uses a rolling ball to set the rate of the clock. And this one is a little bit different than his style uh, in that I believe this could be one of my most accurate clocks. The controller is an Arduino Nano, but the, the secret is it's going to use a real-time clock that can have an accuracy of a couple of seconds per year, and then I can adjust the rate so that the, the movement will always be the same. Uh, the, the way this works is the, the ball will travel down the, the track, uh, the speed is determined by the slope, um, the width, you know, lots of things will determine the rate. Uh, the size of the ball can affect the rate. Uh, but then the adjustment can be made at the end travel by slowing up or speeding down how fast the tray tilts. That can adjust the rate so then the clock can stay dead on. Uh, another thing that can be done is when the ball hits the end, if you notice in a second, a small pause can be added uh, to adjust the rate even more. Uh, this prototype right now has a 0.3 second delay. It's not even perceptible, um, but that 0.3 seconds would be enough that the rate can be brought right back in where it wants to be. Eventually, the clock will have a set of gears and a dial on top. I still have to work on that, but I, I believe that should be fairly straightforward. Every time the tray tilts, that'll push a ratchet and then advance the, the minute hand slightly. This clock is controlled by a RC servo motor and the great thing about that is that all you do is you provide power and then one signal with the pulse width modulated signal on it will tilt that servo um, and then you can control how far that servo is tilted by the the parameters that you send to it. If, if you look at some of the old Congreve designs, you know, pure mechanical the table just slams from one position to another. And the only thing you can adjust on the rate for that clock is the tilt of the table. Uh, this clock will be able to be adjusted by tilting the table and also by changing the rate of how fast the table tilts. I'll probably have the design for this clock available Within a month or two, it always takes me longer than I expect to to do the final STL files and write up the assembly guide. Uh, it will also take a little bit of electronics, a small amount of soldering. There's some wiring to do the, the end detection. Uh, this uses a stainless steel or a chrome ball. And then when that ball touches the copper wire wrapped around at the end, that's how it detects that the ball has reached the end stop. Uh, so small amount of wiring and soldering. Uh, all the other components in this are off the shelf. So uh, Arduino Nano, uh, I suppose this could be used with any type of an Arduino or any controller that has a pulse width modulation output. Another thing worth mentioning is that this clock is going to be a noisy clock. Uh, really no way to get that ball rolling quietly. And also the, the servo motor itself makes a fair amount of noise. Uh, if you look at some of the traditional designs, you will see that 100% of them are enclosed in a glass case. Uh, they say that that's too... Uh, eliminate the change in clock speed because of dust on the track. I think it's also because of the noise. 
This is not going to be a quiet clock, no matter what. Yeah, let me move the microphone closer. As both the sound of the servo motor and the ball rolling around the track makes a fair amount of noise. Yeah, so definitely this clock needs to be either in a workshop or enclosed in some kind of a, a cover. But looks like it's going to be a fun clock when it's all finally put together. So stay tuned. Should have a design finished sometime in the near future. Thank you. Bye.